How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to watch Naruto Shippuden episode 386. Last episode we got another glimpse at Obito's past. He seems to understand what Naruto is telling him but he's kind of in denial right now. So let's see how they're actually going to end this whole ordeal with him. If you want to help support our channel, our Patreon link is down in the description below. You get early access to all the videos that we post onto our YouTube channel and you'll get our full uncut reactions to the Naruto Shippuden series. So if you're interested in those, make sure to check that out. Now on to the enemy. Gimashou! Hey, yeah, if you just look at like Obito's design, he kind of looks like an older Naruto. Like with the hair and everything too, the eye shapes mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Oh, they're still- okay, they're still doing more flashbacks. Okay. The same! Minato's the one that's late. What excuse does Minato have for being late? <laughs> It's the same as Naruto. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this still the cheating one? Maybe it's slightly different. Maybe they changed it. How did she throw that back? That's She's impressive. She's in front of him. <laughs> I'm surprised Rin doesn't have feelings for Obito, like the way she treats him. Mm -hmm. She just barely She just got lucky. <laughs> it feels like I'm watching Naruto and Sasuke. Damn, straight to it. Oh, that's the one that's been happening for the past two weeks. <laughs> They're so like Naruto and Sasuke, oh my gosh. The scenes are practically the same, except that they just said different lines. Did they actually miss it? <laughs> He's eating his candy. That's why guy he said that's why Obito said that to guy. A guy that why am I talking to a guy that can recognize faces? Oh <laughs> He remembers from when they were kids. 
what? Didn't even do anything. Just one hit. No. No, no one's one gonna no that. one's gonna notice the flowers? What? Come on, that bouquet was huge. <laughs> I just completely dis disregarded that. Kun ちょっと is, is current Obito thinking back on this now? Oh my god, Rin is such a sweet girl. <laughs> These words are hurting. <laughs> That's how he kept. How does Naruto know this? What? How, yeah, how did Naruto see this? He Is it because of the chakra right now? Like he he knows everything. Oh, he maybe felt what he was thinking about. I think he sees all, everything. No way, how's this gonna end? The flashback made me really emotional. Like, Rin was just such a sweet mm -hmm. girl, and like, I don't think Obito had anyone except them. Um, yeah, he Rin was an orphan, yeah. Yeah, Rin was the only one basically mm -hmm. that ever showed care for him. I mean, yeah, he his relationship with Kakashi deepened a lot late, but that was way later, right? They mm -hmm. and they didn't even get to be with each other like for that long. Like right when they started act actually acknowledging each other, Obito already died mm -hmm. or died. But Rin was always there for him, no matter what. Like, no one else cared about if he was injured or mm -hmm. 
how he was feeling or anything. It was always Rin that was checking up on him. Yeah, she was always watching him. It's honestly, I cannot believe that she does not have feelings for Obito. Like, the way they interact, it really does feel like they match each other a lot more than she does with Kakashi. Because mm -hmm. Kakashi is like cool or whatever, but they've never. Like, even if they were together, like, I don't know, the conversations feel like it would be dull or something, right? Well, we haven't really seen them much. interact, right? I mean, like they do based it... on what they've shown us, mm -hmm. Kakashi doesn't really have much to say and such, and like towards Rin too, like I don't think there's I don't think they're at the level as Rin and Obito's interactions. Like I feel like the way they talk to each other feels mm -hmm. like they're a lot closer. Uh, at least that's how I feel about the situation. Well that's how they show us, right? Um yeah. maybe Rin's like shy to Kakashi or something. I don't know. But it does seem like she does talk to Obito more easily. Yeah. Was he really good bringing him back to the league? As a shinobi. No way. But how are they planning to do this? Is, is Obito gonna be a free man? What if he decides to and then Madara just finishes him off? Him. Yeah. That would that would make sense, honestly. I don't think he can go back. At this point. Do you think he can go back? Like, like no, I don't see anyone killing him besides Madara. Like, who else is gonna kill him? Yeah, no, I don't think right? people can kill him. Well, right now maybe them because but they're, they're not gonna. They're not they gonna... pull the tail piece out. They still have a chance. But yeah, in terms of like killing him, I think the only one that can is like maybe Madara, mm -hmm. and then if they manage to take the chop the tail piece out, then them. But I don't see the world forgiving him i mean that's why he says you gotta atone for your sins i don't know what's what does he need to do to be forgiven right but see that's the thing though because like it's hard to say what they mean by that because in most cases for shinobi if they cross the line they just end them you know you're a rogue ninja or yeah. whatever you, mm -hmm. you don't get like a second chance you don't serve five years and then come back out mm -hmm. from, based on what they've what we've seen right if you're like a high class criminal yeah. they just you don't you get you don't get mm -hmm. another chance once you're you're on that list you, okay. you, they just come after you and kill you mm -hmm. essentially so like even if the leaf village forgives him i don't know if other villages will forgive him i mean i don't think there's a case where a criminal ever came back right yeah. Like the first thing would be Sasuke, but they're kind of just whatever that right now. What well, even with Sasuke, I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. He's still gonna have to atone for his sins, but. Because, like, I can just... see the Leaf Village forgiving them, right? Mm -hmm. But it's just, I cannot see other villages forgiving them. Especially, like, villages that are a little bit more. Their, their way of thinking is not as progressive. Like, for example, maybe. But times have changed, though. They're all. They're all together now, yeah, do you true, know what I mean? True. Because then when we compare it to the past, then yeah, sure, I get it. But now there's Shinobi Alliance and all the Kages are working together. But that's if he even is going to be alive. I don't know. Like if he has a change of heart. Like when the when the Ten Tails get extracted, is he going to die? Oh, right. Actually, he might just die, right? From the extraction, From right? the extraction, exactly. Because when Gara got his mm -hmm. his tail beast taken out of yeah, him, he, he just died. died. But hmm. it's like a different method. I don't know. This is like they're pulling it out. I don't know. Maybe he'll die in that sense. Yeah. Like, Madara is not even going to kill him. He's just going to die from yeah, right. the burden of having ten tails in him. Taken out of yeah. him. Because it's technically not an extraction. It's not like the Akatsuki's extraction mm -hmm, yeah so it's different but i would assume the same thing would should be kind of similar so we'll have to see mm -hmm, yeah. thanks for watching everyone if you guys enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up it really helps out the channel and if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button we'll see you guys in the next video bye peace